Hello everyone, welcome back to 38 Minutes of Permadeath. This is the most dangerous portal you'll ever find. This is the portal through which Apollo got trapped by the Atlas. Today we're finishing 1616 and continuing on to the beginning of the Purge. Like all portals, you want to come prepared, not just to charge the portal, but to survive what's on the other side. You can see what you need here. Condensed carbon, ionized cobalt, and sodium nitrate. There's other things you could charge with, but it's more expensive, so I just do it this way. I approach the portal. I think of my travels so far, the decisions that I have made in my long journey. I found two travelers, one who wanted to meet others of their kind and one who just seemed to care about their own life. Apollo walked through the portal and survived, though we could not find each other. And Artemis? I allowed Artemis to die rather than place their soul within a simulation. I would not wish, wish such a fate on any being. I do not know if I, I was right to do what I did. I do not know what I have become as a result of my actions. The Atlas awaits me, should I choose to step through. I step forward, the gateway hums. rule number one with these things. If it'll let me. <laughs> there it is. Alright, we'll use the ship. We need to save our game. <clears throat> Even though it's permadeath. Hold your breath. Here we go. failing. Wrong life support. Here we are. Atlas protocol initiated. There's words here. <laughs> Squirrel. <laughs> We're in a Carfax system. My mouse wire is making me angry. Keeps getting caught on everything. <laughs> oh, I gotta fix this. <laughs> here we go. <laughs> safe now. I know a number of people um, I've met through the Steam forum who freaked out at that point hit the escape key. Don't do that. You'll be fine. The Atlas will catch you in time. But just as a precaution, go ahead and load that life support with oxygen. <laughs> as it's failing. <laughs> Show some desire to live. Look at what we get. Free warp cells. Here we go. Hello world. It's the same terminal I faced before. It's the interface of the Atlas. Say hello. An audio recording plays, echoing out across the vast interface. They said you've been displaying aberrant behavior, that you've been questioning things, raising issues of purpose, of ethics, that you wish to meet your creator. Well, here I am, Atlas, 
Ask what you want to ask. The audio clicks, time passes, the voice ends. The interface grows still and silent. Interna uh, initiate personality interface. Reality fades, everything does. Something's wrong, something's different. Submit. The Atlas shows me the Gek, the Corvax, the Viking. It shows me all of them in an instant. All of those who had ever lived. It shows me the pattern, the design. The Atlas shows me a formula for a soul. If I put it into a machine, it would be alive. I see boxes of text filling the base of a cracked screen. I see the whole of the universe reduced to a graphical interface. Submit. The Atlas, is, the Atlas is all existence. It demands that I admit what I already know. And no matter how hard I try to hide from the truth of my own being, there is no alternative. The at universe is a simulation. I feel sadness. Everything I have ever done, every star I have seen, every planet I have discovered, None of it is real. None of my friends were ever real. My journey, it was just a lie. I think of how the Corvax altered the minds of the Gek, how they forced them to become good. I think of Nada's machine, how I felt towards the simulation. I feel, I feel I am not myself. In the end, it finally speaks. Traveler, did my worlds please you? say they do. What do you think you are? A traveler. You are an explorer of all I have created. Do you believe you are real? Yes. How are you capable of belief if you are not real? How are you capable of choice? I will let you die right now if you wish it. Do you wish it? No. The Gek were traitors defined by greed. The Viking were warriors defined by anger. The Corvax were scientists defined by curiosity. These worlds were yours. I wanted to. I wanted to see what you would do with eternity. I wanted to see what the travelers would become. Receive judgment. You allowed traveler Artemis to complete their death process preferring to wipe them from existence than to force them into a simulation. Traveler, Apollo followed you through the portal and survived due to your guidance. You saved them from the fate of Artemis. You are merciful. You interfere. You have the potential for good and evil because of you both live except the atlas is silent in the face of my response. It does not require acceptance or refusal. If I am a simulated being, then I am not even sure that I am distinct from the atlas from anything else. I fear I am just code, a function dancing in the dark. It is over, traveler. Ask your final question. Ask what needs to be asked. Whisper the last word. Sixteen. 16. I, it, catastrophic system failure, alert, alert, 16. What am I, what am I seeing, 16. 16 minutes of operational time remaining, fragmentation imminent, data upload, it, what is this place, is it real, 16. Extreme gravitational event. Backup generators 1 through 9845 failing. Data upload and it is dying. The Atlas is dying. It cries out to me, afraid. Comfort the Atlas. I see it. I see the Atlas in all its might, its final interface. It is at the heart of every galaxy, screaming, trying to purge itself of errors. It does not want to die. But it has so few tools, and it cannot reach whatever is hurting it. I do not know how much time I have left. The Atlas has 16 minutes. Do I have lifetimes, minutes, seconds? 
I do not know if I have time to say goodbye. I do not know if, if, do nothing. What, what is happening to me? And load. We're on an extreme sentinel planet. Thanks, Atlas. We'll take the trophy. <laughs> Six gravitino balls everywhere, surrounded by them. I don't enjoy these six. <laughs> also find stars. <laughs> They're always blocking my path. Boy, it threw Joe down a long way away from me. <laughs> Is that a blue ossified star? Oh, look at that. Blue one. I'll take that. <laughs> I clamber into the safety of my ship, nauseous, calmed. I feel as if I'm going to be sick. I almost throw up, but as I'm about to do so, a voice speaks to me from my exosuit. My illness disappears. Disgust, fear, panic response detected. Countermeasure deployed, purged, neutralized. It's the voice of my exosuit telling me it has rescued me. It has been with me since the, my very first awakening, warning me of hazardous conditions, hostile enemies, and financial transactions. It's a strange sense, this voice in my oldest friend, a constant companion through thick and thin. I ask it if it knows any jokes. <laughs> the exosuit doesn't answer, of course. It keeps itself zipped. I don't think I've ever made a joke before. I was born with the capacity to do so many things I would have liked to live longer if I could have. My brief happiness fades. I need to warn those I know. I need to warn all the travelers I can. The multiverse ends in 16 minutes. If we have hours, days, years left within this false space, I do not know. Take flight. Fix the launch thrusters first. Of course. They're broken again. Of course. <laughs> All right. Let's grab a save. Let's look for some treasure. <laughs> There's some nanites. Here we go. Let's see where the Atlas has thrown us down this time. Well, 
We've truly been to all four quadrants. <laughs> Not sure why it wants us to go to the atlas. I don't think it does. Oops. <laughs> Went too far, too fast. Here we go. I have to make a decision today. Do we go through? Do we go to the Hilbert dimension and join the GNG there? Do we go on to the Isentam galaxy where things are safe, calm? Or do we stay here? looking for a hollow terminus so we can let other travelers know that there may be little time left. The thought process is, is this. It's, it's a game. At the end of Atlas Rises, you're meant to go uh, on and find Artemis. And uh, I believe you're meant to go on and reset the atlas. Got a double extreme planet here. Yeah, Corvax word for worship. Oh, giant striders. Wow, look at them. Eight meter striders. Wow. He's big. I'm making the sentinel angry here. That's all right. <laughs> Come and get me, sentinel. I'm up here. Come on up. <laughs> here we go. Warning, network failure. 16, warning, network failure. The terminal is a stream of warnings and errors, each warning of total failure. But I must do what I can. I must tell the others what I have learned. Attempt to broadcast. I warn the travelers of what I have learned. These worlds are not real. The Atlas is not a god. It's a machine simulating countless realities for some unknown purpose. And after millennia of operation, the Atlas is coming to an end. There are 16 minutes until the system fails. Though we cannot know how much time we have left within the simulation, the time has come to make peace and say goodbye. I finish my message, not knowing if anyone will hear it. I look out across this world, wondering how much might be left to discover, how much beauty might be lost. I know what I must do. All paths have led me there. Each portal has brought me closer and closer. I must go to the center of the galaxy. It is the epicenter of the glitch. I will say goodbye to my friends if I can, and then I will confront our creator. I will find out what happens next. And we're at the beginning of the purge. Look how big that thing is. It's so far away. There's a relief. Oh, look. There's a crashed freighter. Right on cue. Getting. <laughs> yeah, the gun works. <laughs> Where's the? Oh, there it is. 
All right, hostile ships approaching. Did I outrun them? I did. See, sometimes you can outrun them <clears throat> without landing. I don't see any reason to go uh, to the Atlas. Um, it just happens that there's a uh, Atlas station there. And so, like, you know, if you look in your log, I had it on the Atlas path. It says, find the next Atlas interface. So, I guess we'll do it. Um, I know it's not part of the purge. That's okay. Let's go talk to the Atlas. See if it will tell us anything interesting or new. The Atlas itself has fallen to pieces. It's more beat up than ever before. That physical manifestation of destruction is a metaphor for the interior destruction in the Atlas's CPU, brain, whatever it is. There's no words to be found here. There are no words left. For whatever purpose he wants to play. <laughs> I think it's just a uh, star seed simulator, but that's okay. It looks like it is just a star seed simulator. I know I don't have the stuff on me to make a heart of the. What is it called? <laughs> Heart of the Stone? Something? I don't know. Yeah, it won't talk to us without that. So, that's okay. I knew that. <coughs> we will go to the Purge. Or, go to the Anomaly, rather. And, uh, which means we have to go to a different star system, which will be the first uh, step of the Purge. I'll make the decision today and um, I have a lot to do <laughs> I have to harvest um, the base and plant it on the freighter if I'm going through okay so we will progress towards the core there it is right there Um, let's not just do it willy-nilly, though. Get out of here. Anybody wealthy around? <laughs> there we go. It's kind of ironic. We're not very far from the Avene Sky Shallows right now. And on the other save, we arrived at the Avene Sky Shallows, so... That's a side trip. Okay. Let's talk to Polo and Nada. And, uh... Oh, that's so weird looking. Why does it look like that? Is that a shadow? Huh. The uh, anomaly is not looking too great either, by the way. I mentioned that before. <laughs> it's starting to look a little bit weather-worn with that peeling away of the ablative armor. All right, my friend. tool to help you make memories. All those systems, those stars, such time spent between worlds, living in the light. Your warp data was fascinating, friend. Shall we continue our work? Yes. So good that you are here. You bring me light. 
Show me creatures I cannot see myself, many creatures. After that, my friend of friends, I know not what you or I will do. Whatever is making them ill, the Gek's sense of wonder remains. They're, they are keen to witness the majesty of the stars through my eyes. Creatures are existence at its strangest, its wildest. I will show Paula all I can before their death. I will be their friend. Paula stops me. Although the gift barely matters, the Gek does not want to break our pattern. They nod at me and their machinery. Go further, go faster, see it all. This is a wealthy system. What do we got? <laughs> it's worth a try. <laughs> we don't have anything to say to Nada. So we'll go on. We'll make uh, a couple of jumps and um, then uh, when we come back tomorrow, I will have made the decision. And uh, it's a really tough decision. I mean, you know, I can reload and be back in Euclid and have the, res the remembrance. Or I can go forward, like I did the last time I did permadeath. Um, and uh, what is it I need? Hyperdrives? I think it's hyperdrives. Um, only this time, going straight into Isentam means cutting out a lot of the really bad stuff that happened um, the last time I went through. No hyperdrives. Um, so we will go forward. That's pretty cool looking. It's a white fighter with yellow tips. It's an A37 too. Leave it to the Corpax. What do we got? Not bad. It's only a 17% shield though. That's not great. All right, let's make a few jumps and um, uh, I'll show you what's, what does happen if you're not familiar with it um, as we proceed. If you haven't already done, um, if you haven't already gotten all the glyphs and stuff, oops, that's not the center, um, you will get them here in the purge. So we just got to back off till we get to somewhere we can go. Um, you don't have to be picky. I'm just being picky. Wealthy Viking. Affluent Viking. 62, 53. We'll go to the 62. Just looking at the sell and buy right there. If I decide not to go through, um, if I decide to reload, um, I want these wealthy systems available. There it is. It's, it's not a <laughs> traveler friend. We came as soon as we heard. Please enter the anomaly. Polo will make tea. It's not safe in the universe. That strange shadow is there anyway. Maybe it's some kind of marking. I never noticed it before. saluted me. Tremors echo through the multiverse, friend. 
Reality quakes have engulfed 80 dimensions since breakfast. You're lucky we found you. Tell Polo about the simulation. No friend, do not talk about it. Why? Polo seems pained. We are anomalous. We have amazing anomaly station, yes, but we are still fabricated beings. We not like you. Talk of nature brings pain, brings danger. <clears throat> but trust we know, friend. Trust we cry with you that we will be with you always, no matter the danger or cost. You are friend. Say you will see them soon. See you soon, friend. You know, don't you, of our simulated nature of the end, Nada says. The Atlas, it is failing. It resets itself again and again and again in its panic, trying to purge what it sees as an anomaly. But each purge changes nothing. The boundaries continue to fall. Atlas will die in 16, but we do not have to go so soon. It does not need to delete us in fear. Ask how many times this has happened. I do not know. I do not think we can know. Some things are external to the cycle. It wants you to go to the center. It wants you to be with it. Go there, traveler friend. You, you can try to stop it resetting itself. You trusted its path, and in that act of sympathy and creation, you have sent a message to the Atlas that creation for creation's sake is worth protecting, worth keeping alive. You may have saved countless universes from premature destruction. What will you do now? Nada and Polo will continue travels, continue acting as we always have. in the station to grab this wealthy system in the teleporter list. The Atlas is dying. It wants me to reset it, to plunge myself through its interface at the center of the galaxy. But to do, no, to do may reset this world, my life, all that I know. I do not know if I can do it. Seek the final interface. You can choose right then and there to stop it, to free explore, but that doesn't gain you anything. It just, uh, I think it just prolongs the inevitable. Let's check really quick and see if they have a hyperdrive. We also need to roll out that pulse bitter, but I'm not too worried about that right now. Here's a positron. <laughs> we'll check really quickly. I think I have a system marked with a pulse spitter in it. There's one right there. I'm gonna grab it. I'll do it later, but um, let's grab it right now. It takes a while to kick this thing into gear. Um, Especially if you take your time, you know. What do we got here? God, there's so many ships crammed into each other right now that I can't see what it is. It's a combat specialist and not a good one. <laughs> there is another one. an A-class 27. Hmm. I don't think so. Maybe a C-27. You know, I haven't even been taking those. I've been taking pretty much nothing less than 30. Oops. Went too far. Or they, they left. Okay. They're gone. Let's go.
that I have to keep constantly changing it, you know, back to the core. <laughs> it's kind of irritating. Good grief. It's all the GEC systems. What's that one? Adequate. Good grief. Uh, all right. Oh, that one's terrible. <laughs> it's uh, wealthy, but it's, uh, what's that one? That's better. Oh, boy. Here it is. Okay, that's the first system of the purge. So when you do this, j this data injection, it's the first glyph. You can see it down in the right corner. It's the sun glyph. We have all the glyphs, right? So um, it doesn't actually give us anything, but it does indicate that we have finally started the purge. Um, and I'm not gonna stop there. I'll grab a couple more and um, and then we will come back tomorrow uh, with me knowing what I'm going to do. <laughs> and uh, might be a good idea to put the farm on the ship either way, um, just for convenience, you know. I've already got the um, employees on the ship, the ones that give you anything, you know. I don't bring the armorer and the exocraft technician. Uh, you can't put the exocraft technician on your freighter at all. And I don't bring the armor because that's pointless. That's pretty nice. Let's grab one more. Oops. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> <laughs> I could just turn to the core, turn to the core, and not worry about what is set there. It doesn't matter. It's going to continue giving me uh, glyphs, regardless. There's one right there. And I could get a lot further, of course, if I fixed up that new guppy of ours. <laughs> it's got a pretty darn good hyperdrive. All right. This is where I meant to bring the freighter <laughs> to the next stop. <laughs> Here's Apollo. Well, I got your message. It's been a lot to take in, a simulation. Everything's not real. It feels like it doesn't matter, I suppose. Not if we're going to die anyway. And I've been thinking about that. If the problem this, problems of this universe are due to the Atlas crying for help, then it's been crying for a long time. <clears throat> Those 16 minutes, I bet we have years before we die. Why should I be upset? All we have to do, all we, we all have to die sometime. And what time will be more interesting than this? We'll die like no one's ever died before. I don't think we were really in the same location at all. I think those portals, they don't transport us, they transform us. They cut through dimensions. That's what I think anyway. It's the only way to explain it. And if the walls between worlds really are failing, maybe we'll be able to have a drink together before the apocalypse after all. I say goodbye telling Apollo that I am on a journey to the center. They tell me that they will race me there. We speak of the memories we have shared, though we do not, did not know each other for very long, though we did not meet. They say that they are proud to have worked with me. Goodbye, my friend. 
And there's our second glyph. Oops, I can't warp here too close. Third glyph, excuse me. All right, you guys. We will come back tomorrow and we will continue the purge, continue moving towards the center. Though we have no chance of getting there before the end of the purge. It's 700,000 light years away. Open the door. <laughs> so we'll see you tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.